step into the enchanting world of H.R. Puffinstuff, a quirky 1969 TV series that weaves a tale of magic and adventure. Follow the journey of Jimmy, a young boy, and his talkative flute, Freddy, as they discover a whimsical island governed by the eccentric mayor, a dragon named H.R. Puffstuff. Prepare for a roller coaster of emotions as we uncover behind the scenes moments that range from funny to shocking, leaving you with laughter, astonishment, and perhaps a tear or two. Did a particular character steal your heart? Was it the eccentric H.R. Puffstuff, the mischievous Wichapoo, or one of the other enchanting island residents? Share your favorite in the comments below. Have you been touched by the peculiar world of H.R. Puffinstuff? Whether through childhood memories or recent discoveries, we'd love to hear your stories and how this unique series has impacted you. What's your cherished memory related to H.R. Puffinstuff? Whether it's a laughter-filled family gathering or a nostalgic trip down memory lane, your stories are the heart of this magical journey. Drop your memories in the comments, we can't wait to read them. Embark on a trip down memory lane filled with surprises and emotions as we explore the world of H.R. Puffinstuff. Your stories make this adventure special. Share away and let the nostalgia flow. This children's show from 1969 is often regarded as a unique and imaginative creation. Viewers have found it to be surreal and humorous with an appeal to any child who has ever had an imaginary playmate. The creators of the series had considerable creative freedom, allowing their imaginations to run wild. The show features Jack Wilde, a teen idol of the time, who gained fame through his role in Oliver. Despite his initial popularity, Wilde seemingly disappeared from the public after the conclusion of the show's run. Some viewers have described the show as psychedelic, drawing parallels with the surreal nature of Sesame Street. However, opinions vary and there are those who found the creatures and characters to be odd and somewhat unsettling. Some even consider the show reminiscent of the creepy atmosphere found in other productions, such as the Candle Cove Creepy Pasta. Interestingly, some viewers interpret H.R. Puffinstuff as an alternative for parents who sought something different from the urban setting of Sesame Street, perhaps catering to a more counterculture or hippie audience. In retrospect, it's likened to what Sesame Street might be like under the influence of psychedelic substances. Overall, the show seems to have left a lasting impression on its audience, sparking discussions about its uniqueness and varied interpretations. In the world of children's TV in the late 1960s, H.R. Puffinstuff stood out as a special creation that caught the attention of young audiences with its whimsical charm. The show had a unique sponsorship deal with Kellogg's Cereal, leading to various tie-in giveaways, like bike pennants and stickers featuring elements from the series. This marketing collaboration extended to a soundtrack album with 11 catchy tunes that resonated with fans. The show's success led NBC to approve a second season, but financial strains made the producers decline the renewal. As a result, reruns became prominent as the network dealt with unexpected costs from the show's popularity. Before H.R. Puffinstuff came to screens, creator Sid Croft drew inspiration from an unusual source, a rough cut of the popular musical Oliver, presented by his friend, writer Lionel Bart. After seeing Jack Wilde's captivating performance, Croft was convinced that the young actor was the perfect fit for the role of Jimmy. No other options were considered, Wilde was the clear choice. The show, without the extravagant descriptions typical of its time, gave the creators unprecedented creative freedom. Viewers, especially kids with a love for imaginary friends, found the surreal and funny nature of H.R. Puffinstuff to be charming. Jack Wilde, initially a teen idol through his role in Oliver, seamlessly embodied the character of Jimmy, leaving a lasting impact on the series. Looking back, some viewers see similarities between H.R. Puffinstuff and the psychedelic vibe of Sesame Street, while others view it as an alternative for parents seeking something different from the urban setting. The show's distinct charm continues to spark discussions with different interpretations of its characters and overall atmosphere. In the history of children's TV, H.R. Puffinstuff remains a notable and impactful creation. Its journey, marked by creative brilliance, financial challenges, and unexpected popularity, showcases a unique chapter in the world of 1969 television. Billy Hayes clinched the role of Wichapoo in the 1969 series with a maniacal cackle and an impromptu desk hop, edging out the initial auditionee Penny Marshall. This casting decision proved crucial, shaping Wichapoo's character and adding to the show's unique charm. 
Legal battles unfolded when the creators, the Crofts, took on McDonald's for copyright infringement. Mayor Machise and Big Mac faced accusations of resembling characters from the whimsical island. The living trees, like apple pie trees, further supported the Crofts' claim, emphasizing the distinct and imaginative elements of the show. Sid Croft, the creator, drew inspiration from his first ever feature film, The Wizard of Oz, seen during its original theatrical run when he was just 10 years old. This timeless classic deeply influenced H.R. Puffinstuff, evident in the characterization of which and the trees drawing parallels to the movie that left a lasting impression on Croft. In the late 1960s, H.R. Puffinstuff emerged as a standout children's TV creation, captivating young audiences with its whimsical charm. A unique sponsorship deal with Kellogg's cereal resulted in tie and giveaways like bike pennants and stickers featuring series elements. The show's success led to a second season approval, but financial constraints forced the producers to decline, paving the way for reruns to sustain the unexpected popularity. Sid Croft's inspiration for H.R. Puffinstuff traced back to a rough cut of the musical Oliver. With Jack Wilde's engaging performance, Croft found his perfect fit for the role of Jimmy, offering the young actor an opportunity to seamlessly transition from teen idol status to leaving a lasting impact on the series. The series, marked by financial challenges and creative brilliance, remains a notable and impactful chapter in the history of children's TV. Its distinct charm continues to spark discussions with varying interpretations of characters and the overall atmosphere, making it an enduring presence in the world of 1969 television. In the whimsical world of H.R. Puffinstuff, numerous celebrity impersonations add charm to the show. From ludicrous lion's voice to Pop Lolly's antics, the characters reflect recognizable personalities, giving a unique touch to the island's eccentric inhabitants. Jack Wilde, famous for his role in Oliver, had a peculiar connection with dragon puppets, having starred in the British serial Danny the Dragon. This led him to the enchanted world of H.R. Puffinstuff, where his portrayal of Jimmy left a lasting impression. While some may see drug imagery, especially with Puffin stuff, creators Sid Croft and Marty Croft deny any such connection. Despite psychedelic undertones, they insist that the magical island's tales were not influenced by mind-altering substances. Wichapoo, portrayed by Billy Hayes with a maniacal cackle and an impromptu desk hop, became a crucial character, beating out initial auditionee Penny Marshall. Legal battles extended beyond the enchanted realm, with the Crofts engaging in copyright disputes with McDonald's over alleged resemblances between Mayor Machise and the island's inhabitants. Inspired by The Wizard of Oz, Sid Croft's vision for H.R. Puffinstuff went beyond mere whimsy. The show's sponsorship deal with Kellogg's Cereal not only brought tie-in giveaways, but also paved the way for a soundtrack album with catchy tunes that resonated with fans. As the curtain falls on this unique journey, it stands as a creative accomplishment, facing legal challenges and enjoying unexpected popularity. The island's distinct charm continues to spark discussions, leaving a lasting impact on children's television history, captivating audiences with its imaginative allure.